I'm now going to log into my Salesforce instance. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue and uh, install the package that appears. And now I'm going to click on next to continue with the installation. And then I'm going to click, uh, click on install. The installation is now complete. So now I'm going to go on the left side of my screen and I'm going to click on Customize and Expand Customize rather. Once I expand Customize I'm going to click on the plus sign next to Account so I can expand that menu and then click on Page Layouts. Then I'm going to click on Edit next to the Account Marketing Layout page and you can do this for each one of these pages if you like or if you just like to set up one page then you can just click on the page that you'd like to select and click edit next to it and now here I'm going to look for QuickBooks Air and QuickBooks ID here I'll see these fields and I'm going to click on one of them and drag it to where I want it to drop it so here I'm going to drop it into account information and I'm going to take QuickBooks Air and also do the same you have to make sure you drag it in the right place. Now I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to click on contacts here. I'm going to expand the contacts menu. So click on the plus sign there by the contacts. And then I'm again going to go to page layouts. I'm going to edit the contact marketing layout. Here I'm going to add the QuickBooks ID, the QuickBooks error, and the QuickBooks name field. So if you wait for the page to load, and if you scroll to the right here, you'll see QB error, QB name, and QuickBooks ID. So I'm going to click and drag the QuickBooks error, click and drag the QuickBooks name wherever I want to place it. Looks like it, I want to place it right here actually. And then the QuickBooks ID, I'm going to click and drag that as well. Now I'm just going to click on save. And it's saving the layout. Now next I'm going to go and scroll to the, and on the left side I'm going to expand the opportunities tab. And then I'm going to click on page layouts again. And here, I'm going to click on Edit next to Opportunity Marketing Layout. And in this page layout, I'm going to add the Generate field. I'm going to add the QuickBooks ID field, the Primary Contact field, and the QuickBooks Error field. So here you can see Generate. So I'm going to click and drag this Generate right here. You can put them anywhere you want to. And then QuickBooks Error. There's actually two QuickBooks Error. I've already placed one here. So I'm going to place the QuickBooks ID right here. And the QuickBooks ID type. And the primary contact. Now I'm going to click on Save. And then I'm going to go back again into Edit, next to Opportunity Marketing Layout. And then I'm going to click on Related Lists. Once I'm on Related Lists, I'll see an invoice label. I'm going to click that label and click and drag that anywhere I want to in this area to create a new section 
that displays invoices, invoice number, total invoice amount, payments, balance, days outstanding, and sync date. And then I'm going to click on save again. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to expand the products menu here. And then I'm going to click on page layouts. I'm going to edit the product layout. And here I'm going to select the QuickBooks item type, QuickBooks ID. QuickBooks Air on hand and cost of goods sold into the template. So here I'm going to put cost of goods sold on hand QuickBooks Air and QuickBooks ID.